Hello, I'm Emmanuel Bach. I'm back with the Two Minute Masterclass, and today it's Meditation, the first movement from Tchaikovsky's Souvenir dans le Cher. When playing this particular movement, which was, of course, originally the slow movement of the violin concerto before Tchaikovsky changed that movement, I think it's important to really think about sound, phrasing and colour. And in particular, to try and find a sound that's not only uh, beautiful and expressive, but also always meaningful, so that we're always saying something. And of course, each time we play uh, the main phrase that you've just heard, which is repeated uh, numerous times in this movement, we need to try and find a different inflection, a different uh, meaning, a different emotional nuance to the phrase. In terms of the fingering, which of course affects the sound, I think it's good initially to stay on the G string here. And then just at the development kind of turning point of the phrase here to go onto the D string and use the first finger and slide ever so slightly like this. So that that higher D feels like the top point of the phrase and we've prepared for it, we've used a slide and prepared for it and the colour change of the new string also feels like a development. And then when we come back to it, it feels like another development. So there's a lot of musical development and uh, on a small scale and on a larger scale going on. Uh, when we come back to this section we need to find different meaning here. So that when we stretch up between the G-sharp and F natural, we really feel a sense of pain and of despair. And there's quite a lot of despair and despondency in this movement. And then when we come to here, it's like a moment of hope before we sink back into this very sombre feeling. And I, I don't think it's right to talk of entire despair. I think this movement ends on a high note, it ends in the major, ultimately. So we end with a feeling of hope. And also the middle section um, has a, a feeling of hope to it. Before that, we have this. And there those accents are really important. It gives a sense of kind of, um, uh, tremulousness, uh, something, a restlessness, I think, to the music. When we come to the middle section, I think this is really the music of uh, the natural world. We have these trills which almost sound like a bird call here. And there the trill needs to be really beautiful and fluttering, and uh, that will add a real sense of internal contrast to the music, which of course is contrasted, but uh, we need to respond to the musical content and all the time be striving to create something wherever we have these repeated phrases. That I think constitutes a very important part of this movement. That's all for today.